Hello and what is going on guys, the boss here and welcome to another Let's Play episode here on my channel where we're gonna hop into some more PvP battles on my second account. Before we get to that, let me introduce you to another app which is called Discord and the developers are using this app to engage with you guys a lot more. So if you have suggestions and so on, you can go onto this app and have a direct chat with them or also with me or other players to exchange uh, strategies. So if you want to engage a little bit more with the uh, Survival Arena community, feel free to download it, it's in the description down below. That being said, um, we are ready now to hop into some more, some more PvP battles and after the 1.5 update we got some nice changes to the Valor system as uh, players with uh, a lot of Valor when they played against uh, players with low Valor, they actually lost so much Valor and they could gain only so few Valor that they were basically stuck in between a Valor range and therefore the developers made there some changes to make it a little bit more balanced and after this update I won actually all of the fights, it's way more convenient and way more balanced so if you haven't tried it out afterwards get, definitely make sure to give it a shot because it's super fun now to play against players who are on the same level as you are. And yeah that's all I gotta say to this, the deck I'm using here is consisting of the crow uh, crossbow, the mortar, the honey gun, the dragon cannon, snowball and poison bomb. So this is my loadout and it works quite effectively. And even though there was the update there are still troop spammers and with this deck here you can counter them perfectly. So let's have a look at that and hop into the first battle and I hope we can make here some more Valor pushes to get closer to League 3. Alright the first enemy of today is Wehrmatch95. So this guy is probably one year younger than me so let's see if experience wins over age. Alright, so um, we're gonna wait, we're gonna place our hero right here and we're gonna wait um, to see what the opponent is actually doing. So let's retreat with our hero, place it here and then we can place here our cross, uh, cross nest, crossbow and this is basically our strategy. I misplaced it here so uh, we need to take care of the cannons to compensate for that. I probably need to delete that tower at some point. But here we're making already good progress against this opponent. This guy cannot deal with, with uh, our defense basically. And there we go, we built another crossbow. And this is already giving us quite a huge, uh, good amount of defense here. And yes, looks like we're actually gonna deal one more damage to the uh, sky shot generator which is pretty amazing we making here we're making here some good progress against this opponent and there the mortar goes down but against the mortar we probably can take it out by shooting with our hero on it this guy pays attention so our hero is gonna go down but apparently um, we did already a good amount of damage to our opponent and this is all what we wanted here Right, so now that the maze has changed, we need to be a little bit more careful with our tower placements, but as we already have quite a huge amount of towers down, I think we can deal with those guys pretty easily. We can now focus again on the mortar one more time and one more shot and the mortar is gonna go down and there the mortar goes down, which it was pretty important for us. We're making here some super good progress and this means we're gonna do some more damage to the sky shot generator of our opponent. So this guy is definitely not a troop spammer, he wanted to play defensively but if you don't pay attention to your towers and uh, secure them with, um, with your hero and ammunition properly then you're gonna lose and that's gonna happen right now, that's gonna be the first victory of the game and yep, yeah, that's gonna be it. And um, I think we're ready for some more battles, hopefully we're gonna see some more troop spammers because this strategy actually works quite well against troop spammers and yeah, let's start all over again, search for the next opponent and hopefully we're gonna pick up, pick up another victory. Alright, next opponent is Philip, and this guy is a level 10, alright. So we're gonna start off in the same way as before but uh, we're gonna wait a little bit until we place our cross nest again because this guy has tote bag and tote bag is pretty strong I guess. So uh, if we don't pay a lot of attention we're gonna have here a huge problem which we have already here. So yeah this guy is a troop spammer but fortunately he placed everything in the range of our uh, poison bomb and that's all what we wanted. So now we need to be a little bit more careful. 
Uh, recharge our ammunition. Probably we need to sell the tower. I can't select it. That was pretty unfortunate. And now we need to place here another tower freeze here. Tote bag. And this means we can take out here. Or we're gonna get some more damage. But that's not that problematic. Yes, it is. We lost here. All right. I didn't see that coming. That's how survival arena goes. And if there's somebody with tote bag and detects your towers, that's gonna get, of course, a lot more difficult. So you need to pay a little bit more attention to that. And as you could see, I skipped it very fast, but I only lost 19 valor, uh, 9 valor, and this guy actually gained 19 valor. And I think this is gonna help to buy, uh, to distribute all players. A little bit better also the high level players a little bit more higher than than for example a level 9 player as I am and yeah I think that over time everything is gonna get more balanced and more fair in terms of matchmaking so let's hop into the next battle and redeem ourselves for that lost a level 11 guy all right this is gonna be quite intense again um, we need to be again very careful with what we are doing and this time we had the problem that we had to place our cross nest, uh, uh, had to place our snowball already that early, which is a kind of a problem as um, yeah we didn't have enough ammunition then left for all the other towers. And there we go, the grunts come. We're gonna take the hero out with the grunts, and this is gonna be quite amazing for us, a valuable trade. And now we can set ourselves up with another crossbow in the next uh, in the next seconds. All right, there we go. And now that we have a good defense down, oh, he's ap uh, appearing again with Grunt, so we're gonna freeze those guys. We're gonna use here our um, uh, dragon cannon again, and we're gonna suffer some damage, which is quite unfortunate. But I think we're having here already quite an advantage. Here the grunts come again, we're gonna use our poison bomb, that's no problem at all to stop those guys. And now we are placing our third crossbow, and I think now our defense is quite well set up. This guy can't do a lot against us anymore, and he already invested so many skull shots that you can see he already has quite a lot of problems. If we can take out that motor right now, that's gonna be perfect and that's gonna be the end of the match already. So let's wait a little bit until the mortar is approaching our uh, shooting at our troops and now we can take it out ah he placed another mortar all right that's that's um, not what I expected but so far we are leading here with approximately ah that was a misplacement again it ha happens quite early in the last time that I'm misplacing my troops oh let's retreat with our hero our hero is about to die fortunately we could avoid that last mortar shot and now we are placing our honey gun right there we're gonna sell that cross nest uh, crossbow I'm always stuck with other names of other games but um, yeah all right so once the mortars focus on the heavy soldiers here which they don't properly we're gonna take out that mortar or oh, one more mortar shot and this um, this mortar is gonna go down and we made here some profitable trades uh, in the end of the day but now it's gonna turn out into a defensive battle we have to survive until the boss wave and if we do we're gonna pick up here another victory against a level 11 which is pretty awesome for us but now we need to be a little bit more careful so let's take out them uh, we, we were too slow unfortunately so let's place here another mortar to deal with those incoming troops and two more waves, if we survive two more waves without taking any damage, this is gonna be our next victory. And fortunately for us, we can slow all the troops down so that our two, uh, towers can do a lot more damage to the opponent, which is exactly what we want. Alright, so there comes a huge wave, our hero is gonna go down. This range of the mortars is quite huge, so we need to be a little bit more careful. Let's use here our poison bomb again to deal with those incoming grunts and I think we're good to go boss wave is gonna come in in a second and if this guy has no high left high level towers to deal with the boss wave we're gonna pick up here another victory so yeah our victory is coming closer and closer this guy, guy can't avoid it anymore which is pretty awesome and now that the troops are why are they shooting at our hero I was about to finish off that mortar but uh, it actually doesn't matter 
or it does matter, this guy is gonna be able to survive this boss wave. Alright, and now things are becoming laggy, this is pretty <laughs> not what I want. Runs are coming in, but our mortar is gonna retarget on those guys. And if we're gonna be quick enough, then um, everything should be fine. Why is it lagging that much? We're getting closer to our victory. And yeah, I think it's not gonna be enough to stop the boss wave right here. Although he did already a huge amount of damage. But I think it's not gonna help out in the end. It's 25% left. This is gonna be extremely close. 20. And now the Ice Tower can't shoot at the boss wave anymore. This is gonna be our victory against the level 11, which is pretty awesome, guys. So we ma actually managed to redeem ourselves and... I kind of have a feeling we need to play another round here in this battle. And here again you can see I uh, got 20 Valor and this guy lost only 10, so... Yeah, I think that's a pretty nice solution in order to uh, face this problem we had before that players always were stuck in certain battle ranges. But now that, that it's... But now that this is solved, um, yeah. It's gonna be a lot more fun and let's hop into the last battle of today and hopefully we're gonna make it above 600 Valor. Don't forget to recharge... Oh, we were too slow. Don't forget to recharge your Dragon Cannon and here we go against a level 9. Alright. Um, so, same procedure as before with this deck. It's pretty solid in the beginning except if there is somebody coming who's gonna uh, take out your tower right in the beginning. The crossbow has less health than a cannon, which is pretty unfortunate. And I think this guy is a troop spammer, as this guy didn't place anything so far. Ah, oh, there the crossbows come, uh, cross, nest come, crossbow, it's a crossbow. And now we can take it out. Two hits from our hero and the crossbow is down. Uh, apparently he froze our hero. And our hero retargeted, unfortunately. Otherwise, this crossbow would have gone down, but um, we're gonna take it down in the next rounds. We're having our ammunition ready in case the uh, hero wants to attack our crossbow. And with this crossbow going down, we're gonna have a huge advantage here in the end. But we need to be a little bit more careful. One shot of the crossbow is gonna take out our hero, and apparently this guy is focusing with his uh, poison bomb on our uh, hero. So we can't take out that crossness of him, which is already damaged. There his hero goes down. And um, yeah, so far this guy is gonna go with us into a defensive battle. Let's take out that cro uh, that tower right here. We need to... F we, we need to look. I can't talk anymore. We need to take out that cross... Why is our hero not targeting on that crossbow? Crossness, crossbow. Alright, next airwave is coming in. And now we need to build a maze for the incoming troops. To make sure that we're gonna survive this. Because, um, yeah, I expect that this guy has higher level towers. Which is devastating for us. So let's build here another honey gun. And yeah, so far it's 6 to 10, this guy. Um, yeah, lost a lot of hearts right in the beginning and now we can finally take out that max level crossness. Alright, let's do it, let's do it. One more blow. Oof, that was pretty close. That was pretty close. Let's use our snowball right here and our poison bomb. We cannot afford to lose any health, which we unfortunately do. This is pretty unfortunate. Take that grunt out. We're gonna suffer some more damage, but this guy actually is down to two. So after this boss wave, we're gonna win here again. The boss wave is today our lucky wave. And yeah, let's speed up again with the ammunition to make sure that we're gonna survive this wave easily. You, let's use our poison bomb. Upgrade this cross nest. And so far we're gonna win this match. Yeah, we're, oof, we all, almost won it already. And there the boss wave comes and after this boss wave we already won here which is pretty awesome. Yeah, that's gonna be our third victory guys. I don't think this guy is gonna be able to take it out. We can just let this boss wave pass on our side and without investing any further gears or 
implementing any other strategies, this match is gonna be over. Let's take out that cross net, uh, crossbow. Okay, no, we don't. We don't. All right. All right, and this is gonna be our third victory here. We lost one, we won three, which is quite okay. As you can see, there is one weakness, which is this top back guy. But besides of that, this uh, strategy does a damn good job dealing with the incoming troops and also with troop spammers so we're gonna make it here above 600 valor and i'm going to continue on that streak basically or on grinding through the valor leaderboards next in the next episode so until then have a great day peace out